Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. When you face the trials of life, where do you turn? And when you face the trials of life, are there any benefits in trials, in suffering, in pain? Well, in Psalm 119, verse number 50, we read these words, This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. When you come to those times in your life where you're coming up empty and you don't seem to have any purpose or meaning in your life, perhaps you're, you have some type of, of, of health problem or your friends have turned against you, you can turn to God's Word and you can find great comfort. As a matter of fact, there's actually a blessing associated with problems. That's right. Listen to the psalmist in Psalm 119, verse number 67. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. Now, he's going to make it explicitly clear what he's saying in just a moment. But he says, before I was afflicted, that's when I was in trouble. Affliction was good for me. And then in Psalm 119, verse number 71, he says, it is good for me that I've been afflicted. What? What do you mean it's been good for you that you've been afflicted? That I may learn your statutes. It's the problems and the trials of life that drive us to study God's Word. And the psalmist says, oh, I am so grateful that I had this problem, that I had this trial that drove me to your Word. Do you realize that trials are good for you? James would say in James chapter 1, verse number 2, beginning, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you face various trials. Has James lost his mind? Oh, no. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Now, how do we know that's true? Well, you've got to go to God's Word, and then as you apply God's Word to your life and to your situations, you begin to realize, you know, there's a real blessing to being in those trials and that affliction that nudges you and pushes you to look into God's Word to find the answers for the struggles and the problems that you have in life. James 1 and verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach. Well, how do we, how do we get this? Well, we said told to ask God, but how does He give it to us? Well, we read His Word. We might talk to wise people. Through his providence, he may cause some things to happen. But ultimately, we have to go back to the Word of God. Join us again for your daily 180.